Hello, good morning to all. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, Anita. Okay. So I'll share my screen now. Uh, please tell others to join first. Can you see the screen? Hello, can you see the screen? Okay, okay, Adish. Am I audible to you? So only 26 have joined. I'll be waiting for one more minute and I will start. Please tell others to join first. See, once again, I'm repeating, if anybody wants any extra hours or if you want any topics to be repeated, please inform me uh, at the time. Okay, we'll either uh, connect, uh, take it through WhatsApp, uh, sorry, Google Meet, or uh, we can, uh, if you are coming here online on those days, if you come to me, I can explain it to you, okay? So those who find, uh, if, any, some, if some topics are difficult, please come and ask me. So I am starting. So today we are going into detail on the next section that is partial ordering. Okay. Partial ordering. So write the heading partial ordering. Partial ordering. So earlier we said what is a partially partially ordered set, isn't it? Partial. Um, uh, what is uh, along with equivalence relation? Along with equivalence relation, we said another class of relation that is. Partially ordered relation. Partially ordered relation. So, based on the properties of relation, we classified it, isn't it? Based on properties of relations, we classified uh, two types of the relations. We defined two more relations, and that is equivalence relation and partially ordered relation. Equivalence relation is one that satisfies which all properties. Equivalence relation is one which satisfies which all properties of relations. What are the three properties satisfied by equivalence relation? Come on first. I have been repeating it yesterday also. Uh, what are the uh, properties satisfied by equivalence relations? Please type in chat box. Yes, very good. Reflexive, symmetric, and transitive properties. If these properties are satisfied, then that relation is called equivalence relation. So what is partially ordered relation? What are the properties satisfied by partially ordered relation? 
what are the properties satisfied by partially ordered relation anyone please uh, type in chat box i had defined it earlier and i told you we'll come to it uh, in detail later so what is uh, yes reflexive anti symmetric and transitive very good uh, those that satisfies reflexive anti symmetric and transitive properties they come under partially ordered relation so now let us see what is partial ordering based on partial ordering we have to define uh, um, many uh, uh, many theories related to this sets okay so partial ordering now partial ordering a binary relation r a relation r on a set s is called a partial ordering or partial order if and only if it is called a relation r on a set is called a partial order or we can call it as partial ordering partial order or uh, partial ordering for the condition for it to be partial ordering is that if and only if what are the properties that should that it should satisfy the relation r should be r is reflexive okay the properties which you stated is correct the uh, uh, r should be reflexive that is reflexive means every element a is related to a in the given set s then the second property is r is uh, what r is anti symmetric r is anti symmetric if r is anti symmetric anti symmetric means what if a is related to b and b is related to a then a should be equal to b otherwise this won't be anti symmetric if if a is related to b and b is related to a then both should be equal if they are unequal then it is not anti symmetric that is if ab exists ba should not exist if it exists then they should be equal that is anti symmetric property now the third property that a partial order relation should satisfy is r should be transitive okay reflexive symmetric and if r is transitive what is transitive property what is transitive property if a is related to b and b is related to c then if these two ordered pairs ab and bc is present in the relation then the a should be related to c that is the ordered pair ac should also be present for all abc element of s okay so these are the three properties that should be satisfied by a partially ordered relation that is a relation is said to be a partial order or partial ordering if and only if it is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive okay you can write this down i write the heading as partial order and then write a binary relation r on a set s is called a partial ordering or partial order if and only if r is reflexive r is anti symmetric and r is transitive reflexive means every element uh, in the set should be related to itself then anti symmetric means if a is related to b and b is related to c uh, b is related to a then a should be equal to b if they are unequal then they are not anti symmetric then r is transitive that is a is if a is related to b and b is related to c then a should be related to c the ordered pair ac should be present so this is called partial ordering okay now i think we have been repeating it many times now let us see how can we represent a partially ordered set so if r is a relation which is a partial order if r is a relation which is a partial order which means it satisfies reflexive anti symmetric and transitive property defined on a set s it is a partial order defined on a set s so this partial order is defined on a set s then this s together with r is called a partially ordered set or coset the r along with s is called r and s together we call it as a partially ordered set partially ordered 
set or for set okay so these two together we call it as a partially ordered set or for set and it is denoted by it is denoted by s comma r the set that is related by this partially ordered relation we call the the uh, the two together the set along relation together is called a partially ordered set or for set okay and the members of this s they are called elements of the for set members of the set s are called elements of the for set so uh, to represent how do you represent a partially ordered set or a for set if R is a relation defined on a set S, then the part, and if it is a partially ordered relation, then the R along with S is called a partially ordered set or a poset. Okay, and it is denoted by the poset is denoted by the set S comma the relation R, and this is called a partially ordered set. Partially ordered set or for set this term is very important okay partially ordered set or for set that is if r is a partially ordered relation defined on set s then s together with r is called a partially ordered set or for set and is denoted in brackets where s comma r okay so this is what uh, the, the the set uh, together with the relation is called a partially ordered set or for set then now let us look at some of the examples of partially ordered set or poset. See examples. Example one. Now you can write down this question. Show that the greater than or equal to relation. Show that. Show that the greater than or equal to relation is a partial ordering on the set of integers is a partial ordering is a partial ordering on the set of integers show that the greater than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of integers so how will you show that it is a partially ordered set greater than or equal to is a partially ordered set how can you say that it is a partially ordered set? How will you show that it is a partially ordered set? What should you prove if it is a partial order? To show that greater than is a partial order, what should you prove? You have to prove that the three properties are satisfied. Okay. To show that greater than or equal to is a partial ordering on a set of integers, then you should prove that the three properties are satisfied. And the answer, when you answer it, you have to state the first part is you have to state the first property since since you are taking one element of the set A is greater than or equal to A for every integer. Okay, if you take any integer. Any integer, see you take one, one is less than or equal to one, this equal to property is satisfied. Take two, two is less than or equal to any and it is satisfied. So for any integer, this property is satisfied. Okay, for every integer, for every integer A, okay, for every integer A, this property is satisfied. Since A is greater than or equal to A for every integer A, then we call it as then the reflexive property is satisfied. Reflexive property is satisfied. Okay, so uh, we prove that uh, take any element A, any integer, just defined on a set of integers. The set is the set S is the set of integers. Take L, any element of the set S, uh, let it be A, and uh, for any element, it is always greater than or equal to. Since it's equal to is there, this property is satisfied for every element in the set of integers. Then next property that you should uh, check is whether it is anti-symmetric. So to check if it is anti-symmetric, if take two elements A and B in set S, if A greater than or equal to B and B greater than or equal to A, this is true uh, only when 
if it is there then a should be equal to b otherwise this greater than will cannot be proved isn't it if a is greater than or equal to b and if b is greater than or equal to a this happens only when the two are equal isn't it therefore it is anti symmetric therefore it is anti symmetric if a and b are unequal then this equal to property will not be satisfied and so they cannot be anti symmetric uh, yesterday in class i think uh, we had uh, discussed about one relation the less than or equal to relation and uh, it is not uh, symmetric isn't it 2 is less than or equal to 3 but 3 is less than or equal to 2 if this is this cannot be uh, this is not true so this less than or equal to property was not symmetric isn't it and uh, so since it is not symmetric Uh, we cannot call it as an equivalence relation. It is not an equivalence relation. So, uh, but when we consider partial ordering, it is a partial or partially ordered relation, but not an equivalence relation. So, less than or equal to is a partially ordered relation, but it is not a, an equivalence relation. Okay. Yesterday, I think I made you do it in class. We were trying to find out the equivalence classes, and we proved that. Less than or equal to is not an equivalence relation, so we cannot write equivalence class for that relation. So uh, just check if you uh, if the relation is equivalent. Only if uh, the relation is equivalent, then you need to write the equivalent classes. If it is not equivalent, you need not write the equivalence classes. That's why we stop with that. But since it is not an equivalence relation, we couldn't write the equivalence classes. Now, but when we look at um, uh, Partially ordered relation, both less than or equal to and greater than or equal to both are anti-symmetric. Okay, because this happens only when a is equal to b. The greater than or equal to uh, uh, is satisfied if, uh, for two elements a and b only when they are equal. So it is anti-symmetric. So next property, the third property that you should check is the transitive property. That is, if a greater than or equal to b. And if b is greater than or equal to c, then uh, we know that a is greater than or equal to c. This is true for any integer in the set S. For all integers, this property is true because if one is greater than or equal to two, and if two is greater than or equal to three, then one is greater than or equal to three. This is true for all integers in the set. So uh, just by looking, putting it uh, as examples, also you will be able to prove it. So all the three properties, that is reflexive property, anti-symmetric property, uh, and this transitive property, is also satisfied. Okay, since three properties are satisfied, we call it as an. Uh, we call this relation as a part. This is greater than or equal to relation as a partially ordered relation, or a partial ordering on the set of. Indices. Okay. Is it clear? Is it clear? Thus, thus, greater than or equal to is a partial ordering. Okay, greater than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of indices. Greater than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of Integers. So, how will you denote this? How will you denote this? How will you denote this as a poset? How will you? How can you denote it as a poset? I said the poset is the relation plus the set, the set comma relation. So, what is the poset? And What is the set that we have taken into account here? Which set did we take into account here? What was the set we had considered here? Set of integers, isn't it? And the relation was greater than or equal to. So, how will you represent the poset? How will you represent the poset? How will you represent the poset? Anyone? Poset is the set along with the relation. So, how can you represent the poset here? It is a partially ordered set. We prove that the relation is a partial ordering on the set. So, that uh, a relation that satisfies partial ordering on a particular set S is called a poset. 
and to denote this coset we use the set along with the relation now what is the representation how did i uh, how did we represent it actually it is the set along with the relation here the what is the set given in this example what is the set given in this example which set did we consider in this example integers very good agarshan how do you represent integers uh, which, which is the letter used to represent the set of integers initially when uh, i took the basics of set theory i had uh, written several notations isn't it uh, positive integers negative integers real numbers complex numbers etc we had written as a set of alphabets now which letter is used to represent the set of integers do you remember which said which uh, letter of the english alphabet is used to represent the set of integers is said very good agna is said agarsh is said so to represent this as a partial ordering we have to represent to show that greater than is a uh, partial ordering first you have to represent the set the set is the set of integers and then you have to write which relation is satisfied which is the relation that satisfies partial ordering that is greater than or equal to the relation so this is called the coset okay so this is the set and this is the relation together they form uh, the coset so uh, so greater than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of integers and is a comma greater than or equal to is a coset okay is a comma greater than or equal to is a coset so to represent a coset you have to represent the set and the relation together okay so this forms a coset because the greater than or equal to satisfies reflexive anti symmetric and transitive property on the set of integers so since this relation satisfies the three properties on this set we represent them together as a coset is it clear is it clear did you understand what a coset is because next section we are going to study coset diagram okay did you understand what a coset is hello any anyone anyone please respond what is a coset a partially ordered set isn't it a coset is called a partial the expansion is partially ordered set and this coset in a coset we represent the set along with the relation that is a partial partial ordering on the set so here this uh, integer the set of integer integers is said it satisfies greater than or equal to relation if this greater than or equal to is a partial ordering uh, on the set is said so we call it as a coset so greater than or equal to satisfies the three three properties of relations so that is the reflexive anti symmetric and transitive so it is a coset on is said on the set is said is it clear so that was the first example now next example 2 example 2 show that show that or okay show that less than or equal to show that less than or equal to is a partial ordering less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of integers can you prove it is a partial ordering show that less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of integers how will you prove how will you show that less than or equal to is a partial ordering on the set of integers just like what we did in greater than or equal to you can show for it for less than or equal to also how will you show that how will you prove that uh, greater than or equal to is a less than or equal to is a partial ordering anyone please say the answer 
what will you do to check if it is a partial ordering? If that relation is a partial ordering on the set of integers, what will you do? What should you do? Hello? How will you prove that? Agarsh. Yeah, check if it is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. That's all. Is it? Uh, does it satisfy the three properties? Reflexive property. Is it satisfied for integers? A is less than or equal to A. Is it satisfied for all integers? Is it satisfied for all integers? A less than or equal to A. Is it satisfied for all integers? Any integer a, is it less than or equal to a? Yes. Take any integer 1, 2 or 3 etc. 3 is less than or equal to 3 or 5 is less than or equal to 5. Any integer you take this less than or equal. Since it's equal to is there, it is satisfied. So a, uh, a is related to a. This property is reflexive property, and so it is satisfied. Then second, check if it is anti-symmetric. Anti-symmetric. Is it anti-symmetric? That is, if A less than or equal to B, and if B is less than or equal to A, then this happens only when A is equal to B. Isn't it? If they are unequal, this won't happen. This happens only when A is equal to B, and that is what anti-symmetric property says. If A is if A is related to B, and if B if A, A is related to B, and if B is related to A, then A should be related. To A A should be equal to B. This is anti-symmetric property, and it is satisfied for this relation also. Then third is transitive property. For transitive property, how would you check if A is less than or equal to B and B is less than or equal to C, then A is less than or equal to C. This is satisfied for all integers. This is satisfied for all integers. So all the three properties are satisfied. So this less than or equal to is also a partial ordering on the set of integers. So just you can uh, remember these examples, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to are partial ordering zone set of integers. So how will you represent the poset? How are you going to represent the poset? How will you represent the poset? How will you represent the poset? Come on fast. How are you going to represent the poset? For less than or equal to, what is the poset? If a set is a partial, uh, satisfies a partial ordering relation, then we call it as a poset. And a poset is represented with the set along with the relation. Okay, what is the poset representation of this uh, less than or equal to? On the set of integers, so the, the, the set that we considered was the set of integers. And the relation that we considered was, what was the relation? Less than or equal to. Okay, so just write here less than or equal to and this is the poset this is a poset that means the less than or equal to relation is a partial ordering on the set of integers is it clear very good very good is it comma less than or equal to okay so that is called the poset then Now consider another example, okay? Let us look at another example. These nodes are uploaded. Uh, I will upload these nodes, so just look at these. Uh, or you write down this question. The divisibility relation. Write down the question. Next question, okay? Example 3. Check if, check 
if the divisibility relation check if the divisibility relation actually you put that simple division is a partial ordering is a partial ordering check if the divisibility relation is a partial ordering on the set of positive integers on the set of positive integers set if uh, check if the divisibility relation is a partial ordering on the set of positive integers please check check first if divisibility relation is a partial ordering on a set of positive integers is it is it a partial ordering is divisibility relation a partial ordering on a set of positive integers i have told it is positive integers okay positive integers means starting from 1 to etc check if the divisibility relation is a partial ordering on the set of positive integers is it a partial ordering please check first the relation given is divisibility relation the set given is for set of positive integers how will you represent the set of positive integers how will you represent the set of positive integers z denotes the set of integers so how will you denote the set of positive integers anyone how are you going to represent the set of positive integers said denote the set of all integers both positive and negative so how will you represent the set of positive in z plus very good nehari you z plus so z plus denotes the set of positive integers and here the set is z plus and the relation is divided you have to check whether it is a this relation is a partial ordering on z plus how will you check is it a partial ordering please check and give me the answer is it a partial ordering hello anyone you don't know how to check it engineer check it no partial ordering yano engineer check it no no one is responding akash ah uh, how did you check is it reflexive is it reflexive every element divides itself isn't it so it is reflexive then that is if you take an element a a divides a that is uh, if you take an element 2 uh, in the set 2 divides 2 or 3 divides 3 or 4 divides 4 so a is related to a which means it is reflexive then is it transitive oh, sorry next what you check is anti symmetric reflexive anti symmetric anti symmetric means what is anti symmetric if a divides b and if b divides a this happens only when a is equal to b that is 2 divides 2 uh, again you are putting it this is a and this is b 2 divides 2 only when both a and b are equal 2 divides 3 does 3 divide 2 no this is not satisfied so this is what we want in anti symmetric relation if the relation is satisfied then they should be equal so it is anti symmetric then is it uh, transitive if 2 divides 4 and 4 divides 8 then 2 divides 8 so it is transitive so the relation is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive and so the divisibility relation is a partial ordering okay on the set of positive integers and how will you represent the poset how will you represent what is the poset representation of uh, divisibility relation on a set of positive integers what is the poset representation 
of divisibility relation on a set of positive integers? Come on first. Yes, Z plus comma it divides. Very good. So you can represent the poset representation is you have to say uh, the, the set that you have considered the set of positive integers comma divides. This is the poset. So we studied three examples that is less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and divisibility. They are all partial, partially order, are all partial ordering on set of integers. Uh, this is for set of integers and this is for set of positive integers. Okay. So, let us see one more example given in the notes. That is, let R be a relation on a set of people such that X is related to Y if X and Y are, if X and, X and Y are people and X is older than Y. Okay. The, the relation given is x is older than y on a set of people the relation the set is the set of people and the relation given is older than relation so check if it is symmetric or uh, if it is uh, reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive if it is then we say it is a partial ordering if it is not then we can say that it is not a partial ordering so let us see that is the relation r is Anti-symmetric, okay, it is anti-symmetric since x is older than x is older than y and y is not older than x, but if they are equal, then we say that x is uh, related to y. Okay. Is it clear? Only if they are same, if the same person is considered. We cannot say it is x is older than y, then y is older than x. So this is not a, an anti-symmetric relation. Next, the second relation checking if it is transitive. It is transitive since if x is older than y, then y is older than z. And it is, um, if x is older than y, and y is older than z, then x is older than z. So transitive property is satisfied. But when we take reflexive property, x is not older than himself. Though this property cannot be satisfied. It is not reflexive since no person is older than himself. So one property is not satisfied. So we say that it is not a partial ordering. R is not a partial ordering. So these are the four examples that we uh, we come across in partially ordered relations. Now let us uh, see what is total ordering. So before that, the, uh, what are comparable elements? If two elements in a set are related to each other, if A and B are elements in the set and they are related to each other, if A is, this simple represents related, okay, if A is related to B and B is related to C, for all elements in the set S, then we say that it is comparable. Now let us look at an example. That is the poset set Z plus on divides. Let us consider the integers 3 and 9. Okay. Pose set on a set of integers. If two elements, they are related to each other, then we say that they are comparable. Like if you take the divides relation, 3 divides 9. So we say that it is comparable. Okay, 3 divides 9. So it is comparable. If the relation is satisfied, we say that it is comparable. If the relation is not satisfied, then we say that it is incomparable. So if uh, an ordered pair satisfies a relation, we say that it is comparable. If an ordered pair does not satisfy the relation, we say that it is incomparable. So for the set of positive integers, we take two positive integers, 3 and 9. 3 divides, this divides is satisfied. So we say that the ordered pair, 3, 9, is comparable. And if we take two another two integers, 5 and 9, the divides is not satisfied. So we say that 5 and 9 are incomparable. So those ordered pairs that satisfies the relation are called comparable or comparable and those that does not satisfy are called incomparable. 
So these are the terms that we come across in partial ordering. What is what are comparable elements and what are incomparable elements? So those ordered pairs that satisfies a relation are called comparable elements. Those that does not satisfy are called incomparable elements. And uh, if every elements are comparable, then we call it as a total ordering. If all elements are comparable, then we call it as total ordering or totally ordered set or a linear set. If all elements in a set are comparable, then we call it as a totally ordered set or linearly ordered set. If all elements in a set are comparable, then we say that it is totally ordered or linearly ordered set. So you will have to, you will be given a question and asked to check if it is a totally ordered set or if it is a linearly ordered set. Then if you find that all elements are comparable in this set, then we say that it is total ordering. Otherwise, it is uh, otherwise it is not a total order. It can be a partial order, but uh, for it to be a total order, all elements should be comparable. Now we'll do examples in the next class related to total ordering. So see you attendance. See you attendance. One. Two. Three. Four absent. Five. Four Agna was present, I think. Six. Yes. Okay, okay. Five present, six. Then seven. Eight. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Yes, four is present. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve present. Next. Thirteen. Next. Fourteen. 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 Okay, okay. Fifteen. Sixteen absent. 17 present next 18. 18 okay 19 19 okay 20 next 21 22 next, next. 23 okay 24 25 26 28 28 29. 30. 31. Absent. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40, 41, absent 40, 41 present, next, 42, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 48, 47, 49, 47. 47 present. Okay, okay. 48. 48. 49. 49. Okay, 50 present. 51. 51. 53. 54. 54. <laughs> Fifty-six. 
60 okay 61 okay 62 present 63 Absent. 63 okay okay ma'am 31 percent number 31 percent okay okay 31 so absent is number 40 and 16 number 16 and 40 absent okay thank you